So in this video we're going to look at a B-Site execute that you can do on cache. Um, so this sort of execute you'd want to do after your default, after you've shown presence around other areas of the map, uh, and then you go into this uh, execute. So the main thing about this is throwing molotovs in through this window here, and molotoving the whole site off so that the, any players that are playing on the site don't really have anywhere to run. Um, we'll show the molotovs in a bit. So yeah, the, the idea is that you do it through a default. Um, one good default would be doing it through NIP's default, where they have two people, Freiburg and Get Right towards B, um, and they have one mid, one A main, and one uh, squeak. They're not really looking to, yeah, push or anything like that. Just holding out. But what the two players at B are doing, they're trying to get um, someone into checkers. That's to do this you want to be able to have someone up front covering the people doing the smoke so they don't just get uh, pushed. So what NIP does is they'll smoke off ooh, a bit too far. <laughs> they'll smoke off this area here and then they'll molotov off uh, checkers so they'll either molotov off here or through here. So if you molotov that back bit off then you can't have anyone playing there and then you can set up a pot flash just for someone who wants to push into checkers and then you get this player into checkers and he just holds here to prevent the CTs from pushing. Um, so yeah, that's his job. Uh, once you've like done your default and you've got your player in checkers then you can call for, to do the strats so then you can bring your players over. So it needs uh, three molotovs um, and the smoke from here. So you'll need four players to be able to do this. You'll need this smoke here three molotovs outside and then smoke, uh, smoke from here. Uh, so we'll look at all of them together. We'll do the smokes first, so I'm sure everyone knows this one. Uh, you come into here, you make sure the glass is broken, you just aim at this thing here, and this covers off CT spawn. So it bounces off there. you got to make sure you get it right so that it bounces like that. Uh, and then it covers off CT spawn. The other one is obviously the heaven. So you just need to come towards this area here. It doesn't need to be super precise, but you just need to be standing on this. Um, and you take this door frame and then you start running up before you edge the corner you aim as high as you can really and just sort of try and throw it up as high as possible so that it lands up on the up on the heaven area like that so now we'll look at the molotov so the first one is uh, for headshot area so you come in towards here um, you aim at these dots up here but you come up towards the railing and you aim at the top of the railing and then you throw it That'll land like so. And it should land here and get anyone who's at headshot. And I just killed myself. Whoops. <laughs> so yeah, that's the first Molotov. Um, the next one is at this gate here. So you come in towards here. Make sure it's broken. There you go. So you come in towards this gate here at the uh, the lock, and you aim your crosshair up here, and you throw. That one will land close behind the boxes. So so far we've got one behind the boxes, one for headshot, and then we've also got another one in the middle. So you come up towards this edge of the door frame here, and you aim your crosshair in the centre of like this thing here, this little, little blob, and then you throw it. And that'll cover the main site. So what you're doing is you're covering off the, the site, headshot, uh, and back of site. And what that leaves is for players who are on the site, they, the only places they can go is here and here. Like this area back here and that corner there, so or run out into the open or try and sm uh, put a smoke down to cover the Molotov. So those are their only options. Obviously if there's a smoke, you know there's someone hiding the smoke. Um, and when you're executing, all you have to worry about are those two spots or people rushing through the smokes with flashbangs. So you've smoked off these areas and all you have to worry about yeah, is people rushing through the smoke or those players in those spots. Uh, what you can also do to confuse the uh, CTs on the site is when you throw this smoke, the person who throws the smoke can just keep their crosshair at the same place and throw flashbangs as well. Uh, we'll wait for that trail to go so you can see where it explodes. Come on, there you go. So you can see this explodes there so it's going to uh, hit anyone who's on the site. 
And so when the Molotovs come in, they're going to be blinded and it's going to be difficult for them to try and find somewhere to hide. Um, so hopefully, you know, maybe you can kill someone whilst they're just standing in the Molotov and not realising that they're getting burnt. So just in general as well, your players who are outside can also just throw flashbangs through the window. They don't need to be super precise. Um, you just want to throw as many flashbangs as possible so that uh, the CTs can't just be keeping their aim here. They're going to have to keep turning around. And, um, turn around, they think they're safe, another flashbang comes in, keep turning around, flashes keep just keep coming in, so that's what you want to be doing. That's what you see a lot of pro teams do when they execute, they throw so many flashbangs in. Um, and that's what you want to do as well. So you just playing on this one, just throw like a flashbang like that. It's kind of difficult from this one, you could just throw like that, I guess. I don't know, if someone's like tried to turn, um, this guy just throws flashes in. It's just, you just want to throw as many in as possible uh, to blind the CTs on the site, so that when the mortals come in, they're completely blinded. So when you execute onto the site, you'll have someone in checkers who can come around here, uh, maybe catching someone who's trying to like fall back to CT or something from the Molotov, or with that Molotov, it like you can like sometimes it, depending on how it lands, you might be able to just like hide here and stuff like that. So maybe the checkers guy can get him. So the checkers guy is going to come around, and then you're going to have your four players pushing out of the um, of the the main exit. Uh, Obviously, keep people back for the retake, uh, the after plant situation. But this is where your bulk of people will be coming in, aiming at these areas, just shooting players who are trying to get to cover from the Molotovs. Uh, and these areas should be smoked off, so you should be good. So I'll go through the roles again. So your first person is your checkers player. Uh, you get him here in your default uh, for your default, and then he'll push with the rest of the team once you start the execute. Your second guy is the heaven smoke person, so he's getting to here and throwing the smoke. Your third guy is your CT smoke person, so he's coming here throwing the CT spawn smoke, but then he's also the headshot smoke, uh, Molotov person as well, so he'll be throwing this Molotov as well. So yeah, he'll be doing both of those. And then your fourth guy is your person throwing the Molotov from here and then fifth is throwing the Molotov from here. So yeah that's just the rolls again for each of the players.